All right, Gary, let her rip. Yeah. We're in a 1956 Chevrolet 210, like a two-door sedan, they call them. Yep. Um, you know, great little car. This car belonged to the president of the local Chevy club. Super nice man. Unfortunately, he had passed. Uh, we got it from his spouse. He loved this car. He drove it everywhere. They went to all the car shows and the Chevy meets. Um, it says something about a car like this when somebody actually just gets in it and really uses it and just yep. drives it. So it's not a show car, but it is a lot of fun to drive. And it's nice enough to go to cruise nights and, and things like that. Really, the you know shortfall of this car is the paint. And, uh, you know, some previous, you know, probably a little... Oh, you lighten them up! A little bit of damage in the past underneath and everything like that. You know, but not bad. It's, it's safe and it's a good driver. But mechanically, it's got a 350 crate motor. Earlier 350 crate with a 700R overdrive transmission. Yep. As you can see from the interior here, you know, it's got a nice custom made center console with gauges, autometer gauges. Yep, good oil pressure. Oh yeah, look at the gauges, yep. Good pressure. It's got, uh, also has a uh, electric fan. It has uh, vintage air conditioning. Yeah, that's always nice. Sure yeah. is, yep. Yeah, not for now, but for maybe like, uh, you know, six months from now. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, upgraded stereo system with a remote control. You can plug your phone into it if you want. Yep. Interior's uh, tweed and, uh, and vinyl. Nice condition. Nice nice top. Headliner. Yep. All that sort of stuff. Got a tack here for race day. A little tack. Got a GT wheel there. This has some Mercedes seats in it. They're real comfortable. Oh, yeah. Um, they are. You know, those were done nice. They fit, fit the car well. But uh, we'll go ahead and show you everything else up here in our picture spot. You bet. All right. Here's a nice little walk around video of our 56 210. Great little car, as I mentioned earlier, belonged to the local uh, president of the Chevy Club here in Southern California. Bunch of nice guys, by the way. This car is finished in the red and white. You know, it's a 210, so the back windows roll down. Um, it's got all the stuff you'd want to go drive. It's got front disc brakes, it's got an overdrive 700R automatic transmission, it's got vintage air conditioning. It's got CPP, close ratio, power steering. This is what people want in a classic car now because they're used to all this new stuff, so you want it to drive pretty good. It's got 15-inch Americans with the BF Goodrich TA radials. You know, like I mentioned earlier, the weak point in this car is paint. It's old. It's shiny. It looks good. It's got a couple little, uh, little scratches and cracks in it and here and there, you know, parking lot things and, you know, but that's... Uh, it's scars, just like our old bodies. We get some once in a while. I'll show you the interior real quick, too. Nice interior. It's got some Mercedes-Benz, early Mercedes seats in there. Nice custom-made center console. Little billet aluminum there on the dash. Build the steering wheel. Little tachometer. Back seat's nice and comfortable. Got seat belts in there for the kids and grandkids and old people. Nice, sweet little car. Oh, by the way, there's classic Chevy SoCal sticker. That's the club. All right, here's the power plant in the 56 Chevy 210. Again, it's a uh, early 350 crate motor. Uh, so, you know, they're like probably a little under 300 horsepower. It's got all the Edelbrock goodies on there. It's got Edelbrock uh, intake on there, Edelbrock carburetor, Edelbrock dress-up kit. This one's got front power disc brakes. Still has a ram torn uh, cast iron exhaust manifolds, which are kind of nice. Headers come loose sometimes, and I don't know. These are nice. I like I like them on these cars. There's that CPP uh, power steering gearbox. It's got aluminum radiator, electric fan, of course air conditioning. So you got your AC condenser and your transmission cooler, and uh, your Sanderson compressor there. Not bad under the hood. Good, good looking little car under the hood. We're going to go ahead and fire it up for you. Nice, reliable GM small block. HEI ignition. I mean, everything you want to get on the road and not have to worry about much. And that's the way this car was built. Go ahead and show you the exhaust coming out the back. Dumps all the way out the tail end. So it sounds good going up the road. Yeah, very cool. And don't forget about the old 56. 56 Chevys, you've got to remember that. Where do you put the gas? I don't know. Oh, behind the taillight. Pretty cool. 
unique features on when cars when the you know the guys that developed these cars had their own their own right to do what they want and make it custom. Well, if you want to see this 56 Chevy in person, come out and see us. We're in uh, Simi Valley, California, 2158 Union Place. Uh, phone number is 818-591-1313. You can speak to me, I'm Rich, uh, or Gary, sitting in the car over there. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Bye.